The new CNN Freedom Project that tackles a very serious and disturbing practice that sadly is part of daily life, and this is around the world. We are talking about the buying and selling of human lives. Modern day slaves, too often children, part of the sex trade. CNN has for some time now been shining a light on this issue and on Cambodia for a film called Freedom Project Every Day in Cambodia. We found a very dedicated partner for this project. Oscar-winning actress and UN Goodwill Ambassador Mira Solvino. She travelled with us to Cambodia and watch here as she confronts some men believed to be involved in buying and selling children for sex. I just want to yell at them, but I don't know what's going to happen if I yell at them. Well you, 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 well, you know what the truth is? What? They think they're untouchable because they have been. Do, do you think any of them speak English? No. No, yeah. most of them speak Vietnamese. I knew they probably wouldn't understand me and that it wouldn't make any difference at all, but I felt compelled to say something as futile as it might be. I just want them to know that the world is watching. I, I, you know, I just want them to know that there's a, there's a tally being taken. Yeah, we're filming. It's not okay to sell children. It's not okay to sell children to pedophiles. It's not okay. And the world is watching. Protect your children. Do not hurt your children. Protect them. Oh, God, I can't deal with it. I can't deal with the reality of it. Mm. Very emotional. Mira Servino is joining us live uh, from Los Angeles, and that really is a moment that uh, a lot of people are, are watching and have really responded to because you, uh, it is very clear that you're emotional about this, and you, you wanted to shine a light on this very serious situation. Describe how that, how that actually happened and, and what happened afterwards. Um, you know, that, that is... Perhaps, you know, it was a very emotional moment for me, but perhaps one of the least effective moments of the documentary. Uh, later on, we were able to speak to members of the government and implore them to do more in their policy to fight human trafficking and to help the victims and to create an atmosphere of punishment for the perpetrators. As we were seeing in that scene, mm. most of those guys, you know, they, they have a, a sense of confidence that nothing's going to happen to them. Um, but that's also the case of the men who buy the services of children, not only there, but everywhere in the world, including the United States. You know, there's this concept that you can go on a trip and you can make a call to your hotel concierge and somehow it's going to be okay if he brings you a, a child to sleep with. Mm. And that happens here in the U.S., it happens in Cambodia, it happens in Europe, it happens everywhere. And it is, as a mother, one of the most nauseating things that, mm, absolutely. that you can imagine happening to a child. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, yeah, Mira, I've, I've seen the documentary. It really is a powerful mm. stuff. You know, one of the things that might surprise people is you, you have parents, mothers, sometimes selling their children. It, 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 it's, and the other thing that's really disturbing too is you, you, you sometimes see these kids get rescued and then end up back in the same situation. Yeah, well, you know, obviously the root cause of all of this is vulnerability due to poverty, lack of education, poor health. Um, the mothers we interviewed were in terrible, terrible debt uh, to the tune of over $5,000, uh, where most Cambodians survive on a dollar a day, mm. and debts they would never escape from. Mm. And loan sharks would prey on this fact and then bring traffickers around and say, hey, we know you have a daughter. Uh, wow. We can give you $2,000 to sell her virginity. And so mm. virginity sale is big business over there. Um, you know, all child sex over there is big business. It's mm. estimated that it's worth 500 million a year in Cambodia. And, you know, corruption is endemic at every level of society there. And, you know, there's a lot of hands taking money from the, wow. the exploitation of those small children. But the mothers, you know, you could, you could blame them, but you could also see them as victims themselves because they are backed up against a wall. And this is becoming a cultural practice where the traffickers know very well who are the most vulnerable, who might be willing to make this sacrifice to save the rest of the family. It's just so disturbing. But there it are people is. like Don Brewster, people like, uh, you know, this, this organization yeah. that we highlight, uh, Agape International Missions there, who are working on the ground to change things, who are working with the victims' families, who are trying to educate, mm -hmm. trying to give them other options, taking these girls and giving them livelihoods, uh, giving them educations, giving them a safe place so they do not get re-trafficked, and also working hard with the government, working with the police, trying to bring them up to a level of effectiveness that will actually get more of these traffickers right. in jail and, and raise the stakes. Uh, one of our girls that we interviewed did eventually have her day in court and right. the brothel managers that, that, that had her uh, imprisoned 
went to jail. So right. that, that's very positive, but it's very rare. It, it's yeah. very rare that these cases go to trial there. Mira, Mira Sorvona, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And, you know, it might right, surprise you, uh, mm. Atlanta, one of, one of the uh, hubs, hubs. For, for sex mm. trafficking among children because of the airport, because of the international travel and the transport. The freeway systems yeah, and everything. Absolutely. Yeah. It, is, it is a problem it's around a the terrible world. Terrible thing. It's a great uh, documentary, an important one. And uh, you can see clips from this film every day in Cambodia on CNN.com. The entire documentary series will premiere this weekend on CNN Sunday evening. 7 p.m. Eastern, all part of the CNN Freedom Project, which is an ongoing initiative by CNN as well. Do check it out. Important.